Well, all right, it's June 23rd, 2022. We've made it up to the Grandview Trailhead in the High Uinas again. We're here for our annual Fat Man Packing Trip. And we got the usual crowd. Uh, right here we have, uh, Craig, oh, let's see, Craig, Nate, Kevin, my son Miles. Heck yeah. We're getting it done. We may have George join us tomorrow if he's feeling better. His back got tweaked. All right, here's the trail sign. Granddaddy Basin Trail 74. Two and a half miles to Hades Pass, all uphill to there. And then we're gonna go de descend into the basin and uh, camp down around Betsy Lake somewhere and see if we can't make a four day, three night trip out of it. And here we are on the trail, hitting, hitting a steep part first, getting it out of the way. Rules for the trail, no campfires within a quarter mile lake, no camping within 200 feet of water. All right, for those of you who don't know how far 200 feet is, start counting your steps here. There's another sign up there 200 feet later, so you'll know how far of your steps it takes to get the distance you need to from the water for your camp. Apparently they're pretty serious about this rule. They made a nice new sign and a hefty five grand if you get caught breaking it. For our annual Fat Man packing trip this time we decided to pick this trail even though we've been here before on other trips because it's a short hike to get into a basin with some good lake to fish. And uh, we chose that because we need to make a base camp for our Achilles heel over here. He uh, ruptured his Achilles playing church ball last winter and he's still in recovery. So we're catering the trip to, so he doesn't get it over, overdo it and we're obliged to doing that. Well, it's still early in the season. We got some Indian paintbrush there. Dandelion and nice views of the creek. Yeah, there's some pretty flowers there. It's another variety right there. Pretty neat. All right, here's our waterfall rock. It's kind of fun to see. I'm not sweating. Do we need to change that name? Because look at this. <laughs> my ear's sweating. Yeah. <laughs> but my, you're not sweating. My nose. <laughs> my eyes. <laughs> but everything else but is everything good. Everything else is dry. <laughs> right on. <laughs> the reason behind this hat right here. See that Mondo pack right there? Just under 60 pounds on this trip, so I'm <clears throat> packing some extra luxuries on this one. This is a short hike in and a four day or so. Gotta have all the right stuff with you. Got some clouds moving in. It's a little afternoon. Typical UNS. Here it is, June 23rd. Ironically, four days ago, I was up here, similar elevation in the Uintas, and blizzard, snow, inch of snow in a short amount of time. It's crazy weather up there. Hopefully we won't have that this time. All right, taking in some more wildflowers. Pretty yellow flowers on the trail. And check that out, got an ant on the trail. You ever wonder how far a mile is to an ant? If you didn't hear Nate with the answer, he said, a mile to an ant is still a mile. All right, Nate just asked me a dad joke. He said, How much does a dollar's worth of rope cost? And I said, I don't know. And the answer is, a dollar. A dollar. But I'm deaf. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you what I heard. 
How much does a dog with a rope cost? <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> Right there, there's a whole bunch of uh, strawberry blossoms. A whole bunch of strawberries in here. We got some mushrooms on the trail there. Your first taste of dying. There, I finally found one again. That little purple flower right there. Kevin's having one of these extended breaks on the way up. <laughs> Big question was, can he get back up? <laughs> Achilles Hill's doing fine. He's leading the pack now. We better catch up with him. All right, we've made it to uh, Hades Pass. And we got the Hades Pass Frog Pond. And uh, I think we're about, I don't know, 10,600 feet or so right here. Um, I'll check the map, but yeah, should be downhill for most of the way to where we're gonna set up camp from here, so wahoo. All right, we made our first uh, glimpse of Granddaddy Basin. And that right there, right there, just might be Grandfather Mountain, but dubbed Granddaddy Mountain. All right, we got a little no-name pond here, Heart Lake, and Granddaddy Lake down there. A bunch of other lakes in the basin there we're going to hike to that we can't see from here, but we'll see them later today. Yeah. All right, this is that grouse berry. You can barely, barely see the little tiny, tiny blossoms right there. Those will produce a fruit. A little berry in the uh, fall. They're super good eating. So there's another view of another little flower right there. Right there on my right on my thumb there. If I can get it to focus. Well, all right, we did an off-trail bushwhack to try to find a place where we could camp with a fire far enough from the lakes for the regulation. Found this little area here <coughs> across this meadow. All right, we got a nice meadow, got a nice stream. Here come the others, and wildflowers, refrigerator, and some level areas here to set up camp. I think this works for us. Yeah, it looks like uh, we even found a spot with mega benches and ready ready-made firing. All right, now that we found camp with the ready-made refrigerator, first things first, baby. Got to get those Coke Zeros on ice. You're going to bury those in there good. Yeah, it looks like Miles already got his in there. Yeah, yeah. that down in there good. 
Heck yeah, Coke Zero's on ice. Oh baby. All right, look at that. Miles already got his tent setting up. Yeah. Heck yeah. I found this little spot right here secluded in these trees. So I have some protection from the wind, rain, uh, deadfalls up there that might decide to come crashing down. At least in there I can kind of maybe put my head right here behind that tree and have my body come this way for protection if needed. You know, I always worry about these standing beetle kill. So it's something to consider when you're setting up a tent site. All right, we've been on the trail a while and we haven't eaten, so spits PB and J on a tortillas for what's uh, for my liner, liner snack. Now doesn't that look appetizing? PB&J tortilla. It's a new kind of burrito. <laughs> All right, we're testing out the solar panel. See how well of a charge we can get on it. We've got a little bit of cloud cover right now. So it's uh, giving a warning on the phone that it's not getting a full charge. But since it's been plugged in, it went from 63 to 71 in maybe 15, 20 minutes. So pretty impressed with it so far. All right, time to do a camp tour. We got Miles here set up. Got me set up right there. Looks like we got Craig right there. And uh, back off up the hill here a little bit. We got Kevin up there, and then off this other hill over here a little bit. Right up in there, we got Nate. So, pretty dispersed out here, pretty good, but we got a great spot. For three nights, this will be our base camp, and then we'll do some day hikes to check out some lakes and do some fishing. And then there's a close up of Nate's setup. He's in there. Propping up the Achilles. And it's about five miles into here, so it's resting up. We're gonna eat and go catch some fish. That's right. And then right here next to camp, we've got our ready-made refrigerator. And we got a spring flowing right out of the right out of the mountain here. Kevin's down here getting some getting some water. It's probably good enough to drink without filtering, but now we can always play it safe. He's pumping up some. But yeah, that just flows right out of the mountain. Pretty good. Good spot. good spot. It's deep. Right here next to our camp we have a nice little meadow of wildflowers. We got some of the local wildlife there coming through camp. A little mule deer. There she is. Well, hello there, doe. Yeah, she just comes strolling on through camp. Don't you dare find my Coke Zero. She's looking for my Coke Zero. She's going in for my Coke Zero. You little dirty bugger. <laughs> Look at all those mosquitoes. You can see them flying in the air. Swarms. You guys must have sweet blood or something. You're welcome. They're not landing on me. Mosquitoes like Miles. Look at they're all over his pants. Both pant legs covered. Flying around him. <laughs> all over me. He's got his force field on his skin. Yep. Bzz, bzz. Picard and lotion. Bzz, bzz.
works wonders. All right, it's dinner time. We're having uh, the venison country casserole from Peakery Fuel. It's one of their specialty lines. It's in the, the gray bag. Anyway. Created by Chad Mendez. Chad Mendez. Uh, I can't remember if he was the same guy that did the bison ranch mashers, but that one wasn't any good to me. But this one, I'm willing to give this a try. We'll see how it goes. Time has come for the signature series. We're going to give it a try. Venison country casserole. Depending on how good or bad it is, it's going to be a scale of 1 to 10 or 1 to 100. Did you just say venison country casserole? Or yeah. Casserole? Oh, it depends on its taste. Well, that's what it says. See? It says acerole. It just, just depends on the taste. <laughs> depends on what the flavor is. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know that I want one of those. But anyway... Oh. It's got Especially venison, rice, a creamy sauce, and vegetables. Yeah. Mm. You might be able to tempt me with some city acerole. Mm. <laughs> All right, this one's a winner. A good? Yeah, I'd, I'd give this probably a 9 out of 10 for sure. Wow. Texture and taste is good. What would you give it out of 100? Let's um, see, time to 10. <laughs> 90? <laughs> 90? Heck yeah. So that was a winner right there, but it's even better with washed down with Coke Zero out of the uh, snow refrigerator. All right, we're fed and ready to go do some fishing. Fed, fat, and happy. We're going to head on over here to the closest lake to us right now, which is Mohawk Lake. Cut some good brooks out of there last season, so maybe we can catch some more this season. Anyway, we're all just got our day packs on. Hoping we get lucky. So the toads are still croaking. Yes. Can't hear it. They're pretty loud. I can hear them now. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know if they'll pick up on camera or not, but. Hmm, can't hear it. All right, we've made it. For now, we got this uh, Mohawk Lake to fish. We're attacking it on five fronts. Hopefully we'll get something. All right, I got my first fish on here. See if I can bring it home. Yahoo! Miles! Good job, buddy! Sounds like Miles got one, too. Job, Sweet, what do we got here? Looks like a little brook. Alright, looks like Miles got one, too. Yeah. Woohoo, look at that! Yeah, another little brook. Nice. Yeah. Nice job, buddy. Thanks. Alright, looks like Craig got one, too. He's all hooked up. Heck yeah! All right, we got a double. I just hooked one and Miles just hooked one. I'm remote from Miles because I can't see his, but I got one on right now. Heck yeah! A little bigger than the last one. A little bit, not much, but... Yeah! Well, I guess he's a little, little tan incher. All right, let him go. Let him grow. <laughs> All right, looks like Craig's hooked up again. These fish might be a dime a dozen in this lake. Oh yeah, he's, he's a splasher. Heck yeah, right on. All right, Miles said he landed a good one. What we got here. Oh yeah, that's a fat one. Yeah. Nice job, buddy. Thank you. Heck yeah. Number five. Man, you're rocking it. Good <laughs> job. All right, I'm <clears throat> hooked up again here. Oh, I... This one's sucking the drag a little bit. Dragger. Oh, nice. 
That's pretty sweet, dude. That's a pretty good one. Holy cow, look at that thing. If it has an orange spot on the side, it's the same one that I caught. Holy cow. Look at that beastie. Lots of fighting right there. Holy cow. Yeah, it is. Dude, nice. Yeah, we're talking right there. Look at that. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Let me block that. Heck yeah. Looks like Miles got one on right there. Oh, bender. Oh. oh, that's a little one. Little one, but he fights good. Yeah. Little big fighter. Lift him up. His camera sees it. <clears throat> yeah. Good job, buddy. Yeah. All right. I'm hooked up again. Heck yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. Nice. Come on, baby. Taking a little drag. Bring him in like a... Like a surfer. <laughs> oh, he's a jumper. That was pretty big. Heck yeah, he That's is. That's huge, man. Look at how big that puppy is. That's a good one. Another good size one. So hold him up to the camera here. Yeah, there you do. All right, easy to. That's a hook jaw. Nice, dude. Heck yeah, right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sweet. Heck yeah. That one has nice colors. Yeah, his is nice and dark. That was way darker than the other ones we caught. He's got sharp teeth, too. Yeah. All right, fish on again. I'm losing track. I can't remember how many I caught. I'm only... Oh, he just got off. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> All right. Mohawk treated us good. We probably caught 20, let's see, 25 fish between the five of us, roughly 20. I don't know, pretty good. Some big ones in there too. All right, we're uh, got a little bit more daylight left, but the unpredictable you win is that dark cloud looming over the hill there coming our way. We don't want to get caught out in it, so we're gonna head back. It's looking pretty gnarly. All right, we just experienced a 100% chance of rain in 45% of the area for about 15 minutes. Time to stoke up the fire, hang out. Heck yeah, so Miles and I, were taking advantage of that freeze dryer. I got the uh, Oreo Culver's custard. Plain vanilla. Oh baby. <laughs> custard around a campfire in the back country? Heck yeah. I guess we're gonna get another one. I got gaps in my fingers. Too big. <laughs> Ever eat a mosquito? Oh no. Malaria. <laughs> Here's that deer coming through our camp again. Must hang out here a lot. 